Welcome back to the event channel. Wow! <laughs> and welcome back to another of my YouTube videos. I feel like I have been gone for the longest, even though it's been like two weeks since I haven't uploaded anything, but just so much has been going on, and I've just been so busy, but within the time that I have been gone, a lot of great things happen. We have to do so much catching up. So jumping right into what this video is all about, I did go to a concert a few weeks ago, a Romeo Santos concert, and uploaded a crazy crazy video on my instagram account which was reposted by romeo santos himself and after he reposted it it completely went viral it was on different tv shows tv channels and radio stations i even got the opportunity myself to be on tv and speak about this crazy viral controversial video and on a radio station as well and so many people have been asking so many questions regarding this video my reaction how i felt especially since a lot of you know, especially if you've been subscribed to my YouTube channel forever, and if you've been following me on Instagram for a long time, you guys know that Romeo Santos, I'm absolutely in love with him. I'm also a nut job. I'm also an absolutely crazy human being with very energetic and odd personalities. You guys know how I already am from my YouTube videos, but um, this video was super crazy, and a lot of you want to know why I said the things that I said in this video, which I'll be showing in just a second. And within this video, I am going to take the time to answer a lot of your questions, not necessarily all about Romeo, but many of them are about Romeo Santos and about the video, but um, I will be answering all your questions in this video and speaking about the video as well. But before I go into anything, you guys already know the drill. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Put your post notifications on so you guys can be aware every single time I upload a new video. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, follow me now at Yvette Santos. <laughs> So I do want to take the time to say thank you so much to Romeo Santos for actually even reposting me, taking the time to repost me, and even reply to me in one of his comments, which means so much. It, it's honestly a dream come true because any girl would be dying for this to happen to them, and I'm just so grateful and happy that it happened to me. This might seem like not such a big deal to many people. It's like, okay, whatever, he reposted you. But it's, it's like he actually took the time to notice me, to repost me, to even reply to one of my comments that I commented under his picture, and that means a lot especially since he's my idol someone who i look up to and i absolutely love you guys know i've been like crazy over him in many of my videos i've been saying ah, come back, and going all crazy and stuff like that and honestly just by him reposting me it opened so many doors for me it was just crazy like believe it or not like this video was just so crazy and so odd and weird and different that it went like all around the world and it was on TV shows and I got the opportunity to be on TV and speak about this odd video as well as on a radio show and that's awesome because I love TV. I love like being on TV like that is the goal to be on TV and the fact that I got the opportunity to do that was awesome and a great experience. Also because of this video, I was able to gain over 100,000 followers on Instagram, which is so awesome. It's so amazing because I completely blew up on Instagram after that video and um, I'm just so happy about it. But anyways, I'm going to start off by telling you guys the story from the beginning because I don't want to leave anything out or any room for um, any more questions that you guys might have about this video. So um, I go to every Romeo Santos concert. I live in New York, so every single time that he has a concert in New York, I'm always there. I'm Make sure to buy my tickets within the first five minutes of the um, tickets go out. Like when they go out on sale, make sure to buy them. And I always try to get like, you know, good seats, you know, the closer the better, whatever. So this June that just passed, I believe it was June, he announced on his Instagram that he was going to have um, a second like tour for his album Golden. And he was going to be in New York once again, which was this past October. So I was like... <laughs> I already know I was gonna be there so I bought my ticket and I bought my best friend's ticket like I bought it for her as a gift by the way before I continue for those of you who do not know who Romeo Santos is he is an American Dominican singer he is a singer producer songwriter like he's a bunch of things and he is like every Latina's honestly like 
dream like he's a dream come true to a lot of latinas and people who are non-latina as well he his genre is bachata and he is very known around like everywhere if you haven't gone to one of his concerts you must go like his concerts are so entertaining he has such an amazing like personality and such an awesome persona you guys will really 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 love him and his songs are to die for like he has just a way with words and i think that's what makes every girl go crazy so anyways i'm at his concert and i got such a great seats this time i was actually um right next to the second stage so he usually in his concerts the way he has it set up he has two stages which is the first stage where he sings you know his main stage right in the front where everyone can see him and then he like either flies or walks to the second stage which was the one directly behind me like it was literally this close so i was happy because i knew that for at least 10 minutes he was going to sing in that stage that was my opportunity to go crazy every romeo santos concert if you guys have seen my instagram before and if you guys have followed me um for a while you guys know that every time i go to a romeo santos concert i go insane and also my personality is super crazy so i make up words i say crazy things that just go with my vocabulary and i just I don't know I'm just I don't get shy to act crazy and be myself and do just crazy insane things especially when it's a Romeo Santos concert you're right no <laughs> Throughout the entire night, I was uploading a bunch of crazy videos, you know, the usual on my Instagram story, just like, you know, yelling Romeo, you know, being myself. But at the end of the night, every time after a Romeo concert, I always upload like a collage of videos of a bunch of videos of that I filmed during the night. So I uploaded this specific video on my Instagram account, and this is the video that Romeo Santos reposted and that went completely viral. <laughs> So before I go in, speaking about why I said all the crazy things that I said in that video, which I know a lot of people are dying to know why I said all of that and what was the meaning behind everything I said because honestly, I said a bunch of crazy, crazy things in that video. But I do want to share really quickly something completely heartbreaking that happened right before Romeo Santos got on stage. So he ended up um, taking a lot of people's phones and he came on my side because, you know, it's a round stage. So he was going all around. So when he got to my side, this girl directly on my right, he took her phone and then completely skipped me like if I wasn't there and took the girl's phone who was right on the left of me right next to me and I was like oh my god what the heck like out of this row I was like one of the only people that he didn't take um their phone but whatever he was just taking random phones completely understandable but at the end of the night after he left that stage and went back to his you know the main stage in the front my best friend asked me she's like how do you feel like are you okay because she knows that i was super down the fact that he didn't take my phone i was so close to him i was like damn anybody would have been super upset but i was like don't worry because something way better is gonna happen and i'm like i'm a person who really really speaks into existence like i'm super positive and i think that's how everybody should really be like speak positive and just speak things into existence for the universe can hear them and i'm like don't worry something way better is gonna happen like he didn't take my phone but something way better is gonna happen little did i know that it was just gonna take like a good two days for something amazing to happen so based on what i said in the video i started off by saying that's my man that's my daddy father of my kids we are married um obviously we are not married like that's just something that a lot of people say like oh my god we're married we're married but obviously you're not it's supposed to be a joke you're like supposedly mentally married with a person i am not married with him and i haven't met him yet and um i don't have kids either if you guys know me you guys know that i just be making up the craziest things and i was gonna say whatever i had to say for him to look at me and also i'm very um 
dramatic and exaggerated you know that's just my personality like when i record myself i say crazy things and make up weird words and that's just me like i know people are probably watching this video and are like what the heck but no i don't have kids and i'm obviously not married with him but i was having a good time at the concert and i completely understand that there are people that they pay money to just you know enjoy the concert sit down and just sing along there's other people like me who pay money and want to suck the juice out of every cent that they paid for those seats or the ticket to go to the concert and they're gonna dance get crazy sing along and that's me like i just i go wild especially when it's somebody i completely love like many others i then went on to saying i changed my last name for you now that's one part that was actually true i did um legally change my last name to santos but there is an actual backstory to it it's not like oh my god i love romeo santos so much yeah let me just change it right now kind of wasn't just all like that so when i was 12 years old i created um my facebook account and on facebook as a joke i put instead of my real name i put yvette santos because that's how in love i was with romeo and you know it was just supposed to be funny you know i was in middle school it was a joke whatever but little did i know that that name was what followed me all along my entire life because every single time that I opened a social media account um, I was Yvette Santos because that's what I was already known so I um, opened an Instagram, a Twitter, which I don't have anymore, um, YouTube, and I was Yvette Santos in every single account because that's what I was known for already since I was 12 like nobody knew me for my real name Yvette Santos was my name as I grew big on Instagram and YouTube I started um, obviously getting invited to all these events and parties and makeup stuff makeup shows and every single time that i went to these events they would have me down on the list as yvette santos but my id says something completely different my id says a whole different name like yvette is not even my first name yvette is my middle name so my first name is something different and so is my last name so people would be like what the heck like who is this, this is a whole different person that was says on the list and it was always a problem and a struggle so i decided to just completely change it because yvette santos is my stage name like nobody else knows me for my other name and um that's kind of why i changed it so i'm gonna go along and answer the most common questions that i received i did give the option on my instagram story to ask me any question and i would answer it in this video it can be Rom romeo santos related or not a lot of them were romeo santos and i got over 3,000 questions which was a lot i'm gonna try to answer as many as i can especially the most common ones but if i answer all 3,000 of the questions then this video will definitely be more than like four hours long so one of the most common questions that i received was how did you react when you found out romeo santos reposted you this is a super common question since i haven't even really spoken about it on my instagram or anything so um I was on a very, very, very important conference call and I see that my mom keeps calling me. She called me about four times and I did not understand why she kept calling me. Like, I'm like, what the? Like, she knows I'm on an important call. Why does she keep calling me? Kept sending her to voicemail and I was on the phone for another like two minutes before um, we hung up. So then once I hung up, I... I see that I'm getting like a crazy amount of notifications. Like the notifications were like, were like, like there was no way that I couldn't see not even one, one like or, or one comment. I couldn't see what nobody was saying or doing because the notifications were going way too quickly. And I'm thinking in my head like, wait a second, I didn't even upload a picture for my notifications to be blown up and going this crazy. So I swipe to a random notification to see where it takes me to see why is it that my notifications are going so crazy. And it sends me directly to Romeo Santos Instagram page. And all I saw was Romeo Santos and I just see my face saying, that's my mom. My heart literally dropped to my kneecap literally like i was going crazy i think any girl who this would happen to um they would be going absolutely crazy and um i was shaking and i called my mom and i'm like oh my god oh my god and i was going crazy and she's like i know i know i know and everybody like knew before me and he had just like four minutes of posting it before i saw it and i was going insane next question is how do you deal with negativity haters and negative people well this is such a common question that actually a lot of people ask but in general i receive a lot because you know i do have a youtube channel and there's a lot of people who do want to start a youtube channel but this is like one of their biggest fears because i mean you are exposed to a lot of people and different opinions different comments and um this is my advice in my world and this is my way of thinking and i think a lot of people should think like this i am on a pedestal i am the highest 
of the highest of the highest in my world. I am wearing a crown and I'm not no princess. I am a queen. And there's nothing that anybody or anything can ever do to take me down from that pedestal and to take my crown away. To me, I am ra. That, that I am killing it. I can be doing nothing and just breathing and I am killing it. One thing that I truly, truly, truly appreciate is that my mom raised me with so much confidence. Like that's the only way that I know how to think is being confident ever since I was very little. And I think a lot of parents should be raising their children with confidence because when you have confidence within yourself, there is no room for jealousy, for envy, for competition, for thinking you're better than anybody else, for a bitter, salty heart for um, negative vibes and, and haters. Like, I am super confident within myself without feeling the need to knock anybody else's crown off and thinking that I'm better than anybody else. Like, I'm just confident within myself and I know that I'm bam, 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 bam. And I think everyone should feel like that. I don't care what anybody has to say. This is me and if you don't like it, then I'm sorry, goodbye. But this is my personality and I'm not gonna sugarcoat my personality and how I was born and how I've always been for somebody who doesn't like it. Like, not everybody's gonna like it and I completely respect it because everybody has different opinions on things. We're all human beings. We aren't born the same. Like, everyone has different mindsets. Not every Everyone's gonna like you not everyone's gonna love you and we got to understand that and accept it and you just have to learn how to not care like you can't listen to somebody who's trying to lower you and make you feel worse about yourself like get out of here like to me I'm bam 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 ain't nobody gonna make me feel less bam bam than what I already am like who are you to make me feel lower than anyone else like, no, get out of here with any of that negative stuff. And on top of that, I will never, ever give anybody attention who is saying something negative. Like, you will never get a response from me. So you can literally, like, burst yourself waiting for me to respond, waiting for a reaction for me to say something. I will never lower myself to your level and say anything to you. And I don't care. I don't care if I have 100 million followers and 100 million of them are talking horrible about me question is when is your next seminar i definitely want to go um as you guys know i do have seminars once to twice a year huge seminars with over 100 people a bunch of sponsors a bunch of makeup that i give out food like my seminars be popping if you haven't attended one of my seminars or don't know what i'm talking about i'm going to link it directly down below my three previous seminars so you guys can see um you know what goes down but definitely i will be having another makeup seminar in about 2019 early 2019 and i'm just going to focus right now on getting everything ready for the seminar so details and stuff should go out super soon has romeo contacted you personally if not i hope he does soon well thank you so much um no he hasn't contacted me personally like dm me or anything the most he's done is replied to um a comment that I wrote to him on one of his pictures and I appreciate that so much besides the fact that he reposted me and I really hope that one day I do get to meet him or he does reach out for at least a picture or something it would be an honor to meet him especially as he's my idol and it's my dream will be absolutely complete but with the fact that he reposted me and responded to me in one of his comments like that is a lot already and that is amazing and I really do appreciate it because he didn't have to do that and he still did you know where were you born what part and city I live in New York and I was born in New York but I was born upstate in Westchester Terrytown um I was only living there until I was like a couple of months maybe two three months and then I moved to Queens which is where I was raised for um the majority of my life when did you start being a Romeo Santos fan by the way if I didn't say this previously a lot of these questions are Romeo Santos related because a lot of people I guess you know asking a lot of questions regarding um, the video that went viral and a lot of people are also his fan and want to know more about me and my craziness so um, I started being a Romeo Santos fan I have to say when I was very young like about four around there because I grew up listening to him all the time and he was just starting off when I was young and his band Aventura and then his song Obsession came out and I was just totally in love with it and ever since I've just been super in love with him. What was your last name before you changed it to Santos? To be honest, I can't answer that because I changed my last name such a long time ago that I don't even remember what it was. Um, what are your goals in life? I have many, many goals and many dreams that I want 
to come true and I know will come true God willing and that's how we should all think always positive but one of my many goals is definitely to be in Hollywood be on TV like be in a movie and I know you guys are probably thinking like what the plot twist like how is it that you're over here making YouTube videos doing makeup and you want to be in Hollywood like how you get from here to here but that has always 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 been a dream of mine like I love doing YouTube videos why because I'm behind a camera because I'm exposed to a lot of people and that's what I like. I love attention and um, in a good way though, you know. I love attention and I love, you know, just being bam, 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 bam. And ever since I was little, I just always wanted to be on TV. Like, that's what I want to do. And I always said my whole life, I was born to be on TV. I was born to be on TV. There's like no way I was born to just sit around. Like, I can't, I can't, I can't. How did you become insta-famous before Romeo noticing you? So I do have a YouTube channel and also on my Instagram I do upload a lot of makeup tutorials, a lot of makeup pictures, fashion posts. So um, thanks to all these fashion companies and beauty companies and other beauty influencers that have reposted my work, reposted my videos, it has helped me grow on Instagram as well as on YouTube. Will you continue being on TV? By the way, I'm going to show you guys a super short clip of me being on TV and just being me um, right now. But I do want to say that I hope so because that is the goal. That is my dream to continue being on TV. And the fact that I got a little glimpse of what it was, I loved it. And the opportunity of being on TV, <laughs> loved it. Do you have any work done in your body or face? No, I don't have any work done at all. I'm completely natural. How much do you love Romeo? Um, he is my idol. I absolutely love him. But I, you know one thing? I can't have people getting confused with love and obsession. Like my personality is crazy, but it also is very overwhelming for some people who just meet me because I feel like some people might be like, whoa, what is all of this? Especially after seeing that video, it kind of does sound like a crazy maniac. But, um... I'm not the kind of person who is going to stalk him and wait for him outside of his house and you know like a creepy human being no I just love him and um, if I got the opportunity to see him I would absolutely love that like any other Romeo Santos fan or any other fan of anybody else in general but I'll never take it to the extreme to do anything crazy but I mean I did change my last name for him like I mean how much more can I love him why did you start saying that 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 PS you are so cute thank you so much you're so cute as well um, I kind of just make up words and just add them into my vocabulary to be honest and just to me ratata means like bam 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 like you are like top notch you're looking gooch like i'll be making up words i'll be like stoops chinchillin like and i'll just be adding it into my vocabulary and they'll be a part of me are you a licensed cosmetologist i am a licensed makeup artist i did graduate from makeup artistry back in 2016 i will link down below in my description box a link that i explained basically everything and my experience with that so you can check that out after this video what is your favorite concealer and highlight my favorite concealer hands down is the la pro girl hd concealer it is one dollar in the beauty supply and like the most i've seen it for is about four dollars in Ulta Beauty which is still a great price and it comes in like 40 different shades it even comes in the darkest 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 color lightest color comes in green orange yellow comes in so many different colors and it's super cheap and it's really good my favorite highlight I definitely have to say that it is the Becca and Jaclyn Hill champagne pop highlighter what are you most excited about this year well, we only have a couple of months left to this year and to be honest, I just can't wait to see what the end of the year has in store for me. This has been such a great year. Um, so many doors have opened for me and new opportunities and I'm so grateful and blessed for each and every opportunity that has opened up this entire year and i just can't wait what 2019 is going to bring to my life as well so i'm super excited for that if you weren't as famous now what would you have been doing at this moment well before i even started my youtube channel and building my instagram to where it is at the moment i did take two years of clinical psychology in college and that was my major so i did two years of that and if you are wanting to go into that major if that's your thing do it because it's such a great major the human brain works in so many marvelous amazing ways and it's just such an interesting major for real but I can't imagine myself doing anything else than you know 
what I'm doing now. Like this is literally my passion and my job is YouTube. My job is being on Instagram and posting, collaborating with different companies and um, you know, working with huge brands. That is what I do and that is what I love. And hopefully I can, you know, one day take it up and begin Hollywood. <laughs> Going to a Romeo Santos concert for the first time, how should I dress? So, let me tell you something. I don't know how it is in different states, but in New York, where I live, when Romeo Santos comes and does his concerts, these girls really, really, really be overdressing to like the next level. Like crazy heels, crazy dresses, really looks like they're in Vegas or like they're in a club. And I don't think it's that serious. I think you should definitely dress cute because you want to take your cute pictures, but you want to dress comfortable because, um, if you're gonna wear heels, you gotta also keep in mind that you're going to be standing up. There are seats, everyone gets seats, but not everyone's sitting down. Everyone's standing up, they wanna see him, they're cheering, they're singing along, they're going crazy. Um, so if you're gonna wear heels, make sure that you bring flats, sandals, or something on the side so that you can also be comfortable. The video has come to an end. Thank you so much for watching. I tried to answer the most common questions that I kept receiving during this Q&A that I had up on my Instagram. But I mean, there were over 3,000 questions. I definitely can't answer all of them, but I did answer the most common ones. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys have any other questions that I um, couldn't answer or you guys didn't ask me, then you guys feel free to ask down below in the comment section make sure to subscribe and if you guys aren't following me on instagram follow me now at yvette santos i'll see you guys in my next youtube video love you guys wow!